Okay, so now it's the last last video on uh, the basics of probability. And so far we've seen the idea of random variables, we've seen the idea of probability distributions, we've seen the idea of a likelihood, we've looked at how uh, to, to represent probability distributions in R. The last thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the idea of drawing random numbers from probability distributions. Uh, and, and actually I want to make a really important vocabulary distinction here that a random variable is a variable that can take on different values uh, with some probability, but a random number represents an actual specific draw from that probability distribution. So, you know, I could have a probability distribution has a mean of one, a mean of zero and standard deviation of one, and I get out a specific, if I do one draw, I get out one specific number. And if I drew, do two draws from that distribution, I get out two specific numbers out of that draw. And I can use computers to, to do this process of taking draws from these probability distributions. And we can see that as we take more and more and more draws from the distribution, the distribution, uh, the samples from that distribution look more and more like the underlying probability distribution, which is something we'll come back to as a key numerical method later in the course. So here again, we can take, we can use, you know, R to literally take. Uh, you know, thousands or millions of samples uh, from a distribution. And here, you know, we took literally took a million samples of, of individual numbers uh, from the random normal distribution, and then I, you know, drew a histogram of those million random numbers, and it looks a whole lot like that probability distribution. So there's this deep similarity between uh, the the probability distribution itself, which again is the function describing uh, the the uh, it is describing probability to random variables and our ability to, to sample from these random, from these probability distributions to generate actual numbers and then draw histograms of them. Uh, so conveniently we can use, there's a lot of random number generators in R and uh, these take on the same, some very similar form to our probability distributions. They, they're gonna have the same names with the difference that they begin with R. So the R version, is used to generate random numbers, and the D version is is to use to describe the probability density. And so, if I have uh, an R binome, I would say uh, repeat the process n times of flipping n coins and uh, with some probability. So, I'm going to generate n random numbers from that distribution. And same with the normal distribution. I would generate n random numbers drawn from a normal distribution with a mean standard deviation, or n numbers drawn from a uniform with an upper and lower bound, or n numbers drawn from a Poisson with some rate parameter of lambda. And if we plug this into R, you know, we can get you know, specific values out of the uniform, the Poisson, the binomial. And if the thing about random number generators, though, is if you if you ran this snippet of code, you'd get back different numbers because it's generating different random numbers for you. Than it is for me. Uh, so for example, with a Poisson, if I repeated the process of uh, sampling from something three times that had our expected value, you know, the rate parameter two, uh, you know, I, you know, one case I observed two things and then two things and then one thing, or if I repeated three times the process of flipping four coins, you know, the first time no heads, then one head, then three heads, um, you know, I get different numbers. So to, to kind of wrap everything up, again, the key concepts in this lecture series were about uh, random numbers versus and random variables. Again, random numbers are draws from that distribution. Random variables are variables that can take on different values. We talked about probability distributions, functions that assign probability to random variables. Uh, they have to sum or integrate to one. They can't be negative. We talked about common distributions and how to represent them in R. And we talked about the concept of a likelihood. Thanks.